Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Lady and the Tramp playthrough, where I am playing as, uh, well, the Lady, Cielostra Diofan, and Tom is... I am the Tramp as Heinrich Kemmler. Over here <laughs> in, in the ruined lands of Bretonia. Oh, they really are looking... Uh, they are pretty ruined now. Yeah, lovely and, <laughs> lovely and corrupt. I think they're looking more corrupt than my jungles over here. I'm trying. I am very. My, my jungles are getting there, but but there's still there's still plenty of green left in them at the mm. moment. <laughs> um, yeah, I've I'm my plan for this session is to get hold of the shrine of Sotek, and then I'm going to start spinning up another army over here and Diafan or Darfan or Diafin as she's actually called is going to start heading back over, to, making her way to to her Bretonian home to ravage and set up some pirate coves. Well, I would say, unfortunately, you're the one with the money right now. <laughs> Here's me, surprisingly uh, poor. Well, um, I say surprisingly poor. I don't have I mean, money just now, because I threw it all at you. Anyway, it's actually, um, that's the end of my turn. Hmm. Oh, we have worked out if we both untick the um, fast button, it doesn't actually go fast for us all. We need yeah, to work um, out if there's some way of editing the camera speed, because it's... <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. It's... I don't mind I think... it when it's going fast. In fact, I quite like in my single-player game, I've got it so it goes into strategic mode on their turn. Which is actually mm. quite nice. I'm just... <sighs> so, I've been thinking about this. I really want to... Uh take the castle bastone region as quickly as possible so i can start trading yes i'm a bit surprised you didn't go that right at the start anyway it's your turn yeah i kind of forgot about it <laughs> if i have to be perfectly honest <laughs> you obviously also need to take out uh karak ziflin at some point and you need to go get gring zit settled yeah so i've got a rebellion about to happen in Corone. I've got a rebellion about to happen in Castle Artois. <laughs> Anybody would think you overextended. I, I, says me, who's currently got more territory than you. <laughs> yeah. Um, the thing is, I just want to quickly see again, see if these uh, guys will peace with me. Cause... No, you've got more territory than me. Uh, uh, it's... It's a tricky one because obviously I want to move my armies in, but oh, I need to reduce. The... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was going to say I need to. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rely on Corone because it's got walls. It should be able to hold one turn. And if I move my army round. I should be able to take the rebel, re <laughs> rebelling army oh, and gain some money. Well. Yeah, that's pretty much... I'm kind of relying on it rebelling, so I get money from killing the army, uh. basically. <laughs> that's my turn. Incredibly boring, but... Ooh, supplies adrift. Gunline, fill them with lead. Why would I ever take the thing which doesn't give me ranged bonuses? I know exactly what you mean there. You're going to try and take the Shrine of Sotek then, so you've got yeah. the... Yeah, you can go into your fleet stance. That's the one thing I really like about the uh, Vampire Coast, is the... Lords with their ships, no matter how far they've moved, they can go into the ship stance unless it hasn't been March. I dislike that it doesn't do it automatically. I'm actually spinning up a second Lord as well now, which is going to start eating into my income, but... Mm. Uh, I need... Uh, I'm looking at somebody who gets loyalty by being a defend defender buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Murderer! Gains loyalty by defeating enemy armies. Uh... I mean, not that bad. Yeah, none of them are great. 
I'll go for one who's got Plunderer, who's got slightly higher um, loyalty. Basically, I just want a second army, because Floating Pyramid is going to rebel at some point, and when it does and it falls, I want to just yoink it straight away. Oh, we'll completely. get Shrine of Sotek settled, and then we are going to start. We're going to probably rejig my force a little bit as well to get it a bit better. But then, yeah, we're going to start sailing over. That's the other beautiful thing about these guys, is I can literally... Oh, I was going to say, shall we keep it... Because neither of us are really at war with anyone. Shall we, yeah. shall we keep it fast moving? Yeah. Till, uh... till we need to watch things. Yeah. Oh, what does Manfred wants? I'm going to go in a military alliance with Manfred. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Why? Because there's no way I'm marching all the way over there. <laughs> no, I see, I don't like military alliances. Defensive I will go, but that means he can drag you into any stupid bloody war he wants, which could put you into war with Reichland. Very early. Should I sing for Yeah. You? Oh, well. <laughs> What do the mutineers want with you? Uh, they want a military alliance, to which I'm saying, nope. Uh, no. You can't confederate as um, vampires, which is annoying. Yeah, that is, I mean, flavor-wise, I kind of get it. But at the same time, it's sort of... It kind of feels like mm. you should be able to... Ooh. All these settlements are just straight away besieged. Or it should be a, if you commit, beat them. Minions, commit. For sure. Yeah, uh, if, if you beat them, they should join you style thing. Yeah, like... Uh, yeah. Oh, what's the one? Norska and the Greenskins. Yeah. Because they're that sort of faction. The other thing is you still... No, you, can you be a hoarder's greenskins now? I need more minions. Oh, that is a. I don't think you can. But does say, is Grom not a horde? Uh, Grom is not a horde. No, see, I feel the greenskins should be able to turn to be hordes. Across the map. Hmm. Maybe the Savage Orc should be hordes and the normal Orc should be. The Savage be. Orcs I can see being. Destruction. Ah, uh, this might end up poorly. You're only getting one army in there. Yeah, because. Give it Heinrich another. Just probably. I suspect you can wait a turn. Yeah. Oh, fingers crossed. Now, I'm going to send this necromancer off to these I mean, guys. If they attack, you can probably defend it. The other. <laughs> to the let's, let's hope. Uh, oh, they're building up. Yeah, they're the AI. They Fresh. will chuck forces out really fast. Though, uh, um, Rakarf is invading their territory to the north. He's not at war with them, but... Oh, yeah, no, he's at war with them, and he's invading their territory to the north, so... Fingers crossed, basically. It may force them to peace with you. Alright, I'm uh, ending the turn there. Ooh! Aminar attacks! Nowhere near me, but I care <laughs> about. I've never actually done the final battle as these guys. It's... It's a weird one. I think it's meant to be under the sea, when yeah. you're looking at it, because... But at the same time, it doesn't really I... feel like... I need some money from you, man. I have none spare. I can't. Do you like, I have two free, oh, hang on. How much? I need like 300. I, yeah, I can, I can send you 300. That's for sure. But. Yeah, my ink, yeah. Make, make the request. Hmm, it's not letting my hero dig for treasure. Uh, I think it always needs, it has like a one turn cooldown. Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. So, how much can you give me? Uh, 300. Yeah, I need. 6, 7, 8. I mean, this is to colonize that assessment. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? I need basically 300. 
Yeah, make make the request. Give me all your money. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to get on and increase my income by developing the. Uh... And I did just like. Is it? Yeah, I, I, I yeah. <laughs> I was purely to uh, so I could get on and uh, oh, defeat yeah. Tony Corone straight away, which I think was the smart decision. Yes. Actually, looking back on it. Nice. That's this whole region got. Let us get the uh. Hmm. Vampiric corruption, I think, actually. In that region, rather than the public order and growth. Because I could use extra corruption in that region still. Hmm. I think I've got the map wrong. Okay. I mean... Anyway. Um, editor. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I can't see what your... Uh... The map showing on your. Because <laughs> normally it shows quite a, a very visible clue. Now let's see. I really hope the rebels don't attack because it's going to be a battle we're going to have to fight. But oh, it's it's on your screen, so the we'll see. Yeah. Blessed me with this. I was watching your stuff actually. Uh, yep, they're attacking Marienburg. Uh, what do the dwarves want? Ah, uh, can I? I want to call you to war. Yeah, it's so I can call Sylvania to war with yeah. these guys. Red Duke. Uh, they want to offer me money in a military alliance. Hmm. I'm just trying to see. No, you see, I wouldn't. Don't no, go I'm, for military alliance. I'm not. Oh, thank God, they didn't. Uh... So that means, go in, Heinrich, take them out, and let's make some more units, more Auto. more troops. Yeah, there's no point fighting that one. It's uh. I'm actually going to return captives to make some money or uh, dark magic. But uh, yeah, uh, it's waiting for you at the moment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Me, I'm honestly paying attention. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, right. It said I saw a fire and smoke. Oh, just saying about the rebels trying to take the province. <laughs> uh. I'm going to move... Actually, oh, let's... That's a really nice pool. I'm just going to see what... Buildings I need to upgrade first. Um, 250 to 350. Hmm... It's obviously maxing the income where possible. Yeah. No, straight uh, up get that. Yeah. I think I'm going to recruit another unit of Graveguard just so this army's... It's either that or a corpse cart. Because I really like corpse carts because I'm just checking here. Uh, yeah, it gives a 40 meter range plus 10 melee defense and attack for all undead. Actually, that's, that's a bit underwhelming thinking about it. Yeah. One unit of Great Guard for Heinrich. And. Does March Stance increase. Ah, March Stance increases the upkeep of your units. That's different. Kind of makes sense, to be honest. Um, oh, I have chaos, so I need to research Gift of a Kiss. So I'm going to do that. 
Uh, buildings. Build that. And Marienburg is about to rebel. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am going to end the turn there. Oh my god. Right, what, what, what's, what, what's happened? I've dug, but I'm, it wasn't the right place. I'm fairly sure I know exactly where it is. I mean, you said that last time. Right, I, so... I seem to... <laughs> it's... The name for this is... To find what you seek, do not be meek. For the Guardian stands proud, so tall that its head is in the clouds. The High Sentinel. The High Sentinel. Yeah. I thought you'd already dug... I mean, you can use the army garrison you've got there to dig for it. Good point. Ahoy! Darkness comes. <laughs> oh my god, it's literally where I started. Pretty much. <laughs> oh well, but however, a great hoard of treasure has been received. Ten thousand yeah yeah that's what sfo has done yeah that's what i'm saying uh, you shouldn't need as long as you keep digging for treasure so long as i get them and find them because oh i've got a new treasure map but it's up in norska halflings would surely freeze if they visited the moot as grayling moot but it's so far away but i can send a hero there can't i yeah uh the uh right the gunnery right yeah yeah What I also need is I want to get a vampire hero out because if I get a vampire hero, I can um... establish pirate codes. Yes, which is really good. But it does cost a lot, and it has like a ten-turn cooldown. Yeah, but if you you know every ten turns, I mean, and I, yeah. I want to, I need to get one in Ulfwan because because mm. good god. That's my far yeah. If you just take the income percentage income. Yeah, exactly. That and would we say Altdorf as well? Yeah, Altdorf is making a thousand at the Capitals, moment. basically, yeah. in general. I see as me, I'm just doing a butt ton of leveling up. Yeah, it's a shame I can't do that during your turn, the uh, leveling up my heroes and yeah. lords. <laughs> is it bad that I've basically spent all the money? The issue is, I don't. I'm not keeping a big army here, to be fair. Mm hmm I feel there's a but. Paladin. I, I, it, it, I'll need it at some point, but... Uh, getting the cold blade, blade frostbite attacks a bit more melee defense on my hero. Oh, can I get... No, it's fine. Making him anti-large seems like a good idea. I mean, anti-large seems like a very good idea. Yes. Always. Hmm... God damn it, they're... They're obviously garrisoning the floating pyramid now because they're, they're not they're, they're not gaining pub toward that. I'm a bit worried about um, the Hunt's Marshal. That mm. said, any movement he does towards me in that region is going to have such problems with corruption, so... And... Uh, I'll have a non-aggression pact with the mutineers. I don't see why not. I guess that's the other thing I should look at is on the way, I should look at where I need to go for my pieces of eight. Uh, it's purely uh, the armies, the rogue armies. Mm. Exactly. But ones I can take. Does it give you a difficulty setting? Or are they nope. on your screen? Nope. The uh, rogue armies are purely just... Uh, Random. Uh, I mean, you can kind of know what they're like in advance, but they're generally all pretty junky. High tier. Yeah. Go my army of the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> more, more recruits. That went. That went well. That went well. Basically, I want to have gunnery rights positioned strategically all around the world, don't I? 
I mean, ideally, yeah. Ready to jump on treasure, as it appears. Yeah, this is of Urson, but yeah, it's visited the moot, but in the south lies a fire undimmed by the ice. It's grailing moot. Uh, I'm going to make a defensive alliance with von, the uh, von Karsteins, I think. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You've got a... Uh... Defensive. Yes, but you've got a military alliance with the other ones. And they're they not... always go to war. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, right. Oh, there was one last thing I was going to do. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it. I want to save the upgrade point to make the summon that I get. E, um, yeah. Uh, immortal, essentially. Okay, it's back over to me. Mwah. Yeah. Mwah. You will listen. This has my approval. Where? Sam Vaporus, what a name. <laughs> Yes, please, I will have another bloated corpse. No brain, no brain. I'm also going to steal Get Sam Maporus's uh, unit of gunnery, mo gunnery mob. It gives okay. me a lot of gunnery mobs. Um, Mira. Mira. Just tweaking the army slightly, oh. basically. I'm giving him the pistols for the time being, because they're not as good. Oh. Yeah. I'm keeping, because she's got one, two, three, four, five pirate gunnery mobs. I want one more unit of, oh, I'm not recruiting prop. I'm not doing this normal way. God, God no. Are you going to attack the floating pyramid? No, no, I'm not. Oh, no, no, I'm not ready for that. No, I'm, I'm, I was recruiting her a couple more units. I'm just getting my armies sorted, basically. Oh wow, the City Watch has an army ability to summon two yes, units of Pistoliers, own armies and region. What's that? I was just having a look at the... It's uh, obviously the SFO mod. Uh, it looks like they've introduced for uh, walls the ability to summon units. That's cool. Is that in your settlements? I uh, know, I was having... That's in the Floating Pyramid. In mine, I haven't even built any garrison. Uh, mine yet. gives me the ability access to the Zuff Bar 47, 42 pounders, which feels a bit odd. Yeah, mine gives me the army ability, the Face of Death, the comet. which I imagine allows me to summon something. Praise Sigma. The sea knows my face. Right, Mr. Hero, you can start heading into the cold, cold north very slowly. <laughs> Okay, I am done. Congratulations. She is going to spend a turn. Oh, I should have changed her stance. Never mind. Luckily. Oh. Allies being attacked. Hmm. Just be warned, order factions will come a hell of a long way to attack you as a vampire character. Yeah. Oh, no, my character's human. It's, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. No, yeah. I do not want to anything to do with Skeggy. <laughs> I want to keep the lizard on the, the giant frog on side. Oh, I got a mission to raid a region belonging to Reichland or the Golden Order. I, I think the answer to that is nope. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to decide. Do I go? Do I move my army to do the ship fell cargo, or do I just move it straight away to colonize Grungzint? Get Grungzint. That's what I was thinking. It's just obviously the units you spend, but... So, comments, guys, by the way. We obviously need to make a new version of our logo for Tom. What <laughs> symbols should we have in it? 
and what should be written in it. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to hear what should be written in it. <laughs> yeah. Crumble. No, Jet R is the channel name, so that that can probably stay, but. Oh, we can tweak it. I don't know, I don't mind. So, suggestions are more than welcome, but other symbols we can put in it are, are more than welcome. So long as they're not rude. <laughs> you probably should have started off with that. No. Uh, oh, I remember what I was thinking of doing. I was going to see if there's one which increases happiness rather than... Uh... The Empire already doesn't like me, so I'm going to repress mortals. Oh, you monster. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Protonians, they're going to be used to it. Yeah. I'm, technically, you're also repressing yourself there. Fine. You know. You have one pointing out you were human. Yeah. It's, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a thing you get used to. Anyway, back over to me, and... Sing the songs of death! Yes, yes, that's right, Solostra. Sing the songs of death. <laughs> she is very good at that. You have to give her credit where it's due. And I am going out to, to look at a fell cargo. Ooh. Captain's chest performed better on the campaign map. Yeah, oh, I always go for that one. I don't always go for it, but hmm. it's just—it's just yeah, it's just a bit too good. I find. Um, I'm just checking you've moved back to your screen, by the way. Yeah, yeah, no, I have. I'm yeah. just just checking my public <laughs> order in my regions. Swiftly now. Saying that, the Hunts Marshals doesn't seem to be doing very well. Ooh, I am going to go and steal some technology off the, um, off Skeggy. You're learning. Always steal technology. <laughs> Be honest, I actually don't think it's that important. I have a trade agreement with Mazamundi. Way. Actually, yeah, it really isn't because everything cost takes one turn. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just move him up to uh, to the north. And a defensive alliance with Mazamundi. <laughs> That's if he survives. Savages. Whichever woeful deity protects you. It ends here. Not a chance. Ah, oh, it is unfortunately annoying, Skaggy. The I mean, that doesn't me surprise kill, anyone. But I do it freely. Tribesmen, gather. I'm just trying to get a straight non-aggression pact with them at the moment. Yep, I have a non-aggression pact with Skaggy now. I've done that because I've got enough. To... <laughs> oh, that's nice. Dominating. Enjoy the moment whilst it lasts. I'm just seeing if there's anybody else who will actually trade with me yet. Nope. Not yet. That's good, because I've basically played them off against each other perfectly. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking at the fort. The tier one actually has a ridiculously good garrison of basically Grave Guard, Black Knights, and Vargeists. Just getting out lots of lovely extra growth buildings. Nice. Our corruption is increasing nicely in all my settlements. I'm leaving Sambaporus sitting that he. Ooh. I could. There's a stance I have which costs him for me, but gives you plus 20 growth, public order, and plus 20 growth. It's really nice. Yeah, but it costs him for me. Yeah, 25 is infamy turn, and infamy is much harder to get now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it is and it isn't. It has a lot more things that is cost use cost use infamy, but it's a little bit easier, I think, to get. But if I could get my public order higher as well, because that does provide really nice buffs, doesn't it? 
It doesn't yeah. seem well, to modify my growth as these guys, though. Yeah, no, for, it's the same with me. For me, it increases tax rates and reduces upkeep of lords and heroes and reduces raid, raised dead cost. I think it depends on what faction you are. Mm. Okay, I think... I'm done. Okay. I'm back up to 2k a turn. Happy days. I'm now big enough that I'm spending it. So we've kind of got my Bretonian colony over here. Because I am <laughs> a Bretonian faction, guys. You know, some people may call her a, a vam vampire, but she's a Bretonian. She's a Bretonian lady. Well, I think I am going to accept an alliance with Vlad. Oh, yeah. I love that all the vampires have different, different ship designs as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To hers even looks a little Van Bretonian. <laughs> well, it's got little castles on it, which is oh, fantastic. No, it's cool. Oh god, it's literally it's insane design. Is that I'm her sure. on the front as well? Oh, probably. Anyway, I better switch to your screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at your ship. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> Um, oh, right, move him to Marienburg. Yes. No, because um, um, Baudelaire has a special ship design as well, a very pretty looking ship design. Spread the rot. Uh, is that the one with, uh, I'm trying to think of his name. The Sea Lord. Yeah. We have met before. Oh God. Um, you don't want to look at the name of the Lord at Baudelaire. I do. <laughs> I'm not, uh, not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 fine. It's fine. Actually, improve his dealing technology skills. Yeah. Um. I think that's it for me. Boring, but you know, sometimes you just gotta. Okay. Oh, interestingly, Marienburg is sending an oh, army at sea friend. to the uh, Thousand Moors. Interesting. They don't like being alive then. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> is the other dangerous thing about crossing the seas as a vampire. It's you go too close to a faction and they might go, nope, and attack you. Yeah, and your army's pretty pathetic, to be honest. What do you mean? I've got three bloated corpses in it. To be fair, that is the most terrifying thing about it. Also, I just realized she gives her whole army uh, magical damage, doesn't she? Yes. Including the ammunition for ranged attacks. Yeah, I was going to say that makes the hand pistoliers a lot, lot better. I can't quite. I need to save up some money to build up a bit more, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Slowly, but surely. You just need to find more treasure. The good yes. thing about Bretonia, actually, at the moment, there's going to be a lot of battle sites, so you're going to be able to raise, raise a lot of armies. Oh, yeah, well. and the, th the other thing is the way battle sites work, they will be chunky battle sites. But that is something for us to work out for next time, guys. We're going to have to end it here. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this play for as much as we are. Cause we are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's our favourite one at the moment. I um, think so, yeah. Please like and subscribe. Pop a comment down below. Let us know what you think we should be doing. How you think we're doing things wrong. <laughs> Feedback is more than welcome. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. Monsters Abound. Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, and Jared Horn, with an extra special thank you to William Farmer. Anyway, that's all for today. Chisel.